Hi, I'm Ann Sullivan, founder of Harp Mastery, where harp happiness is an everyday practice and a way of life. Well, here it is, Memorial Day, the unofficial official start of summer, and it's the time that I am setting my harp goals for the summer. Are you doing the same thing? Well, I would encourage you to if you haven't thought about that before. I think summer is the perfect amount of time to set a goal. First of all, it's that three month, 90 day window that is the, the ideal amount of time for setting a goal, working through it and achieving it, and then going on to the next thing. Second of all, summer, even with all the vacation time, away time, whatever else might happen, I have the extra energy and the time to really focus on one thing, whatever the one thing is that's really going to move my playing forward. And thirdly, it's just the greatest thing to feel like I've really focused on something important during the summer because then when the autumn comes, I'm ready to, to dive back into whatever regular playing I have to do, knowing that I'm more in shape and that I've really accomplished something over the summer. So that's why I set these goals. And here's how I go about doing it. First of all, I consider those three growth areas that every musician needs to keep working in in order to keep growing and progressing and moving forward. Those three areas are repertoire, right? The music that you play, musicianship, and technique. All three of those things need to be developed continually. Now, of course, the hard way to work at that is to try to do everything all the time. It's a little bit easier if, in addition to your regular practice, you pick one item from one of those categories and really focus on it. And you could do that every 90 days if you want and sort of work your way around those three topics and really keep moving forward. So summertime, I'm going to pick one of those areas to work in. And I'm going to pick one very specific goal. For instance, if I'm going to work on repertoire, my goal might be to learn some new music, or it might be to review old music, or to set up a practice rotation to review a lot of things that I want to keep in my fingers. Or it might be to create set lists or special programs of music. So those would be some repertoire goals. Some musicianship goals might be to review some music theory, like uh, chord harmony or keys and scales. Uh, it might be to work on my sight reading or my improvisation or even on memorization. Also work on different uh, means of expression, right? Uh, work through dynamics or um, tempos or rubato or legato, phrasing, tone. Those kinds of things could also be a musicianship focus. Working on technique, sort of self-explanatory, isn't it? You want to make sure that your fingers, well, at least if you're a harpist, for those fingers are working. They would need, you could do strength conditioning or working at relaxation or working at flexibility and agility. Um, all of those kinds of things you could be working at. So those are some ideas of goals and you can even be more specific. For you, maybe your technique goal is I want to um, I want to work on my scales at this particular tempo marking. Okay, a nice specific goal and a great kind of a goal to set. So the first thing I do is I choose one thing. And I like to choose the thing that's been really bugging me. The thing that I think, gosh, if only I could get this one thing done, if I had the time to do this one thing or work on this one particular skill or if I could just make this one thing better, a lot of other things would fall into place. So I don't have to tell you what that is for you. You probably already know it's that one thing that really just is so annoying. You think, gosh, if only I could conquer thumb slides, everything would be perfect. So that's the kind of goal that you could set for yourself. So set a really specific goal. And then once you've set that goal, you've got your time frame, these three summer months, and work out three interim goals, right? Three progress checks so that at the end of month one, 
you want to be this far along. At the end of month two, you want to be this far along. At, and then at the end of month three, you've achieved your goal. And then you can break down each one of those progress points into weekly benchmarks, okay? If I need to be this far along by the end of the first month, what are the steps I need to take to get there? And then you have a focus for every week's practice. And if there are going to be some weeks that you're away, then you set your, you set your benchmarks accordingly so that you are realistic and you don't set goals that are so high that you can't achieve them. Just take that into consideration and you'll still be where you need to be at the end of your 90 days. So that's how I do it. Now I have a tool that can help you. Many of you I know have already um, gotten access to my Spark Practice Journal, but I have created a couple new pages that are specifically designed for 90-day goals to help you set them and to put out those little monthly progress uh, checkpoints and the weekly benchmarks. So um, you can get those extra pages as a free download. You'll find the link in the show notes or in the uh, text here. So you'll find the link right there and you can download those two extra pages if you don't have the Spark Journal already. This is a perfect time to do that and you'll be able to find the link to do that as well. It's very helpful, full of sort of interesting quotes and just a nice way to, uh, to be able to keep track of what you do. It's a PDF. You just download it and then you print the pages that you want when you need them. So it's convenient in that way. You'll never fill up the book and be out of it. You'll always be able to print new pages and use them whenever you want. So um, the new Spark Journal pages are there for free for all of you and uh, you can add them to your journal if you already have it. So I want to hear about your 90-day goals. You, you can leave me your 90-day goals as a comment to this post and we'll take a look at them and we'll be sure to check back in and you can let us know in a few months if you've gotten there and uh, what kind of a difference it's made for you. All right, so enjoy your summer, enjoy your goal, and uh, have a great time practicing.